Hi everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back and to everybody new, hello and welcome and happy Sunday as well. So I have Oscar here today and I did a lot of shopping for him um, leading up to uh, for fall and winter and of course kind of continued into the fall. And I have lots of really adorable outfits that I'm just like dying get on him and super excited to share so I wanted to share one of my favorite uh that I picked and this is um a jockety um it's cashmere wool blend um and it's got this little chicken on it with <laughs> this little beret it's in a navy blue and I just, I mean, the colors for Oscar, I mean, oh my goodness. And then I'm going to pair it with this um, Jockety bodysuit. And it's a Peter Pan collar and it has kind of, let's see, there you go. You can see a textured uh, collar to it, which I don't know, I liked. It was a little different and it's got the nice uh, snaps down the side of the back and everything. Of course, they're the ones that take forever to, to get them in. And then I'm thinking these little, little socks with the pom-poms, these little red socks with the pom-poms. And I don't know if this will be too much, his little red um, shoes with the pom-poms, because it does have the red beret. I don't know if it, we'll have to see when it, when it goes on. So anyway, um... I figured I would just change him and chat with you all. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. And those of you that know me know that it's still like night for me. Because, yeah, it just is. But I did, sleep, like, I want to say almost like nap, like, way, way earlier in the night. Um, for maybe two hours. So... It's almost like that was my night's sleep because I'm, uh, you know, I'll be up now. I don't think I'll be going to bed. I have to, uh, number one, I got to definitely run down and get a haircut because my girl is only there on Sundays. <laughs> and, um, I have to work all day as well. So, um... And yesterday was kind of, oh my goodness. It, it, do y'all ever notice that when you, you got a lot on your mind and like, you know, stuff going on uh, and just, yeah, just shit, just stuff, like lots of stuff, like um that it's, it's hard to make a video, um, especially when like some of the stuff Stuff is actually pertaining to like the Dolly World. Um, there will be video videos coming. I I know. Um, I need to um get back with you all t on another video. Um, as far as for all you buyers out there, um, on the the uh safety photos and what happened with Oscar's photos getting stolen and everything. I have some, <clears throat> a little more insight for you, for you all. And, uh, yeah, just going to chat about that. Um, so I have that coming up for you. And then we also have, um, uh, for sellers and there's just, uh, I'm just so really disgusted with, what's going on in this community. I really, really am. Um, and this is not a, a, a whatchamacallit drama YouTube thing by any means. This is totally just, you know, within the, you know, Dolly sort of social thing. It's within the Dolly selling, buying and selling. Anyway, so there's that, which, you know, I mean, obviously... There's bigger things in life than dolls, but <laughs> people's money, <laughs> you know, especially a lot of it, you know, can really, um, you know, hurt somebody, um, if you're scamming them out of, you know, money. So, 
it is serious in that respect. Oh my good lord in heaven. Oh, why do I always do this to myself? I really... Okay, that's... Does this go all the way over there? Yeah, maybe it does. <laughs> One of these days I'll actually remember, because I think they they all, at least the Jockety brands, I mean, but then you get all different brands that do this. But I think they, they, they're, they're ones that snap up um, in the back do go one specific way. Oh, there we go. Okay. If I did get it right. Oh, I did. I did. Look at me. Oscar says, go, mommy. Go, mommy. <laughs> I did that pretty fast because usually I'm fumbling around. Just their body suits alone are like absolutely I can't see his little feet down there absolutely out of this world I mean I just I just love their clothes I mean I gotta be honest I well body suits I will leave him in obviously they're comfy and cozy um but as far as a lot of the outfits and stuff, honestly, they, he goes in them, you know, he gets shown in a video, he gets some pictures taken, some, sometimes depending on how busy I am, see, that's what I figured I was going to be, um, working all day today, and so I can just put him downstairs in the bassinet pose him and I'll be able to enjoy looking at him all day um which that's fun you know but then as soon as I want to be like holding them holding him um you know and interacting with him it's then I just he comes winds up coming right out of the quote dressier clothes and right into you know loved baby sleeper or just something cozy cozy lounge outfit so uh, yeah. <laughs> um but I still just love you know um shopping for him and planning the outfits and like I said and then you know the photos are really fun for me it's just how I enjoy the hobby so even though I'm not like necessarily leaving it, him in these clothes for very long and he tends to stay in the sleepers and lounge outfits much longer. Like, you know, um, cause then if I want to like pick him up at night and snuggle him or whatever, he's just all cozy and babies still wear PJs during the day. So, you know. It's one of those things, but oh my gosh, how do you not love all these, like, sweet baby clothes? Oh my gosh, look at how cute he is. I knew I was going to just adore this. Oh my goodness. Ugh. And I think, um, let's see. All right, this is going to have snaps. This crisscrossed? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness here. All right. Let's see. I know I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> we gotta get these buttons. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness. Look at you, Oscar, handsome little man. Yeah, they make little. What? What is that? Like a almost like a Spanish outfit, supposed to? You know, I mean, it's for Jacquey's Paris, France, but it almost reminds me of just like a little Spanish. Anyway, oh my gosh. I don't, I like this actually just with his little feet sticking out. It's supposed to go up to almost 70 degrees here today on Long Island, New York. So it actually is supposed to be really warm because I have, I'll show you another favorite of mine is this. Can you all see the print, the doggies on a, the little blue sweater, the little hot doggies and it's got a 
It's got a... I'm sorry, I still have this stuff in bags because I opened everything to check it. Let me see if I can pull this because the tag is right over it. Why is this in such a big bag? But, um... I, I keep his uh, clothing in... Like, I've been keeping his clothes, like, putting it back in, like, the bags or using Ziplocs um, to put it in his drawers. And then when I swap out, like, summer... <laughs> I don't know why this is in such a giant bag, but okay. Um, this has the little Peter Pan collar and the little hot doggity on it. So, like, how cute is that? The little hot dog and the little hot dog sweater. I mean, you all know how I am with animals and doggies. He already has one um, doggy sweater that is, you've, you've seen him in already. Um, I think it has a little Dalmatian puppy on it. And it has, like, a red collar. Because um, he had the red shoes on with that that outfit but yeah see stuff like this I'll put this in a smaller bag smaller ziplock bag stuff like this especially like the white um uh <clears throat> white body suits and things or anything white I find um keeping them in ziplocks you know just keeps them nice and crisp and new um and just protected from you know, just anything, any dust even in a drawer or just, you know, sticking your hands in it. How I don't know. Also kind of keeps it more flat and from getting like scrunched up in a drawer because honestly, I don't have good <sighs> storage space. I mean, I lacked storage space to begin with for like our own clothing in this house. Like there is no like good closet space. Like we were bursting at the brims just for our own clothing so you know I've gotten like the little um uh you know uh tote totes with the drawers and things like that like the plastic drawers and you know imp improvised and whatever but what I'm saying is is they're not so like nice and neat with just a few things in there where you can see everything because I don't have, I have to get a lot in one draw. So I try to do it so that everything stays as nice as possible. If that makes sense. Don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. It works for me. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I don't have that much to say. It's not a very interesting video, I suppose. But I figured I would pop this up this morning for any of you having your Sunday morning coffee or throughout the day. I may very well be back on <clears throat> later with some more, you know, interesting videos, I guess. But, you know, what I was saying, and leave me a comment below if you can, like, know what I'm talking about. Oh, and I brought this pillow up. I wanted to kind of put it there, but it didn't, didn't work out. Um... This pillow is, oh, adorable. Look at this. It has an elephant, and the elephant's, like, spraying colors, and oh, my gosh, I love it. I got it for downstairs for, for the change table, and it's been down there. I just th thought I brought it up, thought I would bring it up and show it and, ha you know, perhaps prop it in the back of a video, but it didn't really fit, and I wasn't fiddling with it. But anyway, and this was also uh, this is, uh, by Jacquardy. Um, I, I just thought it was a little different and it's what I want for downstairs. Um, you know, it's going to be this rainbow print that I got, um, for the change table. And then I just thought the elephant complemented it with the colors and stuff. Um, because I just want just very what I've been doing, what I've been going for the, in the more of like the, the, uh, base, the, I don't know, like the earthy tones and the just 
modern, I guess, and I don't know, whatever that, whatever it is, I don't even know what necessarily theme you call that, look so cute, oh my goodness, I don't know about these shoes, I don't know if they're going to make it look really bold, well, let's see, we won't know till we put them on them, right, so, but anyway, I, I find I have a really hard time filming, because I have for the most part, I've been film was filming videos every day, and I think I didn't do one yesterday. I don't think I did one the day before. I might have put it out the day before, but I I filmed it, you know, like the night during the night, night before, whatever. Um, and I just have a hard time talking, and some of that is I have to admit, some of that is all of the issues that us channel creators go for through when you just, I don't know, share what's going on, what's, you know, first off, nobody wants to get too personal, and sharing, you know, any thoughts or things, I don't know, getting past, like, it, it, it there's always people out there that are going to be like, you know, oh, you're complaining, or you're spreading negativity, and I always tell you all, like, I am not here to blow sunshine up everyone's asses every day. I am a human being. <laughs> I'm a doll collector, YouTubing. This is about my journey. And I don't know if I'm loving these shoes. You can let me know what you all think. But yeah, I don't know. I think the shoes are a bit much. Um, They're cute. Maybe for a few photos. I don't know. Let me know what you think as far as the, the shoes. But anyway, and, um, you know, I just, I get tired of feeling that way. And don't want to, you know, feel like when I come on YouTube that there's drama shit stared up. People making videos about me. Like, especially when you're at a point where there's a lot going on and there's great, you know, stress and pressure and things like in life that's you know really important um you just you don't want to come to your hobby to your happy place and you know find someone has shit in it <laughs> you know bottom line let's just you know be real here so I don't know I'm thinking I am just gonna like talk about that at a certain point this week as well um, I'll probably share, uh, you know, a bit more, and I do share a lot more in my membership. So, um, for those of you, um, that don't know, my channel has a membership. Yes, it does. So, you can always find the, um, a link below in the description or press the blue join button next to subscribe. It is $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive and you can cancel at any time. You do, however, have to be 18 years or older to join, but literally for less than the price of one cup of coffee a month. Um, come on in if you're interested in my channel and my videos and, um, there's exclusive content and I do live streams in there and I do get a little more, you know, in depth and, you know, keep it a little bit more real in there because I can, it's a smaller group. It's like my little, you know, our little world in there. It's the pixie squad, you know? <laughs> we're the pixie squad yay so anyway um yeah if you want to become a part of that I kind of let my hair down a little more in there and I think I'm gonna even be more so um because like I said I you know us channel creators we're not perfect you know human beings and it's you know, a, you know, I don't, I don't know all of us. Some of us just do channels because they, you know, I don't know. But I, I know I personally do it as like vlogging in this hobby and sharing with you all my dolls and my journey here. Um, for anybody that's enjoying and that wants to follow. That is exactly why I share. That's why I make videos. You know, that's why I'm here on YouTube. Um, so it's not necessarily to just 
be happy, happy, joy, joy all the time. It's just to share. And I, uh, of course, I try not to come on and get bring you all down when I'm like all like, ugh, in a terrible mood and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, I do my best. But I'm a human being. And if I went like a couple days without making a video and feel like I'm, I want to make a video, but yet I'm like, ugh, no, I don't want to make a video because I may not sound all perfect and, you know, or have something, you know, just all fun and perfect to talk about. Does that make sense? Am I making sense to you all? I don't know. I'm, I, I, I feel like maybe I sound like a complete, you know, bitch. <laughs> but I'm sorry if I do. Again, I am a human being. I'm a human being, and so are every other channel creator here. So, I don't know. Keep that in mind when you watch folks' videos. And um, Not that I've had anything. I mean, it's been nice and peaceful and um, lovely, you know, here in the community as far as, you know, on YouTube. And, you know, just, it really has been. Everybody's just been enjoying their dolls. And I think that, you know... The reign of terror is over with, you know, certain things that, you know, were difficult for us all to, you know, see happening in the community. So it's actually beautiful. It's actually happy and, you know, yeah, definitely, without a doubt. So that's a good positive thing. And there's, you know, tons of good positive things. And you always got to find the joy in things. But anyway, I'm now rambling. I just wanted to share that with you. Because I get nervous. Like, when I start feeling for a couple days, like, really, like, uh, I don't, you know, like, I don't, I'm feeling that way. Like, I want to make a video, but I don't. It bothers me. Because I love being here so much and I love sharing this part of my journey with you and my babies. And there's a lot going on with the, um, if as far as with my collection and babies. Well, not like babies, but just, oh, I'll ex have to explain it. But I will have, I will say, um, that I think that Milo will be leaving. It looks, definitely looks like we're set up for Milo to leave. He'll be going back to, uh, one of his mommies that have first rights to him. And I'll have to explain to you all, well, I'm just, God, I'm looking at him and I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? Milo's like, what are you doing? Oh, just looking at him through the screen. I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, but, you know, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is a really emotional hobby. And the decisions that we make or may have to make, it just, look at these feet. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's such a sweetie. He is such a sweetie and a squishy, squishy, squishy. Anyway, but um, I don't want you all be shocked, you know. And I figured I'd just say a little heads up. And I know, you know, some of you all be sad because I know you all like to see the babies on our channels and everything. But, um, you know, I mean, obviously he's not gone. It's not, but it's pretty much a, you know, set deal for him going. Um, and I am looking for, um, I'm, re I'm really, really hoping that I can find a, uh, little girl, a Claire Taylor edition baby, uh, in, you know, the newer with the, you know, features and everything. I mean, there's really not much, um, I don't know really what's out there because we know, we, we know Dwayne's aren't going anywhere, you know, um, and, uh, I, you know, I'm really would love to find a Caden. That's what I would really, that's my, what I boils down to. I would really love to find a Caden. To those of you that have been with my channel, um, you know that I had, um, the Caden that I had done the trade with for Oscar which I do not regret because you all know how much I love Oscar but 
I definitely loved my Caden. And my ultimate would have been to have a, you know, Caden with Oscar. That would be my, you know, absolute ultimate. So as much as I adore Milo, it feels like I'm not to that point where the, of where exactly how I want it to be. And, you know, there's a lot invested in these dolls that you're sitting on and stuff. So, um, you know, it makes me nervous and I don't know. Anyway, all right, that's about it. And, well, if any of you all out there um, are thinking of letting go of a Caden or know of anyone who is or, you know, something of, of the likes, um, definitely let me know. <laughs> all right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.